Hi the Wargamers, Dan, Deathbringer Kane Kane here, uh, bringing you a, another unboxing, uh, this time from my little uh, salute haul, um, from another great convention, lots of money spent, and uh, this was a, a, a nice game that I saw, I saw coming out on, but I was a little bit of feature on Beast of War a while ago, and I was quite tempted by it, so my X-Wing, but obviously World War Two tanks. So Gale Force Nine is delivered, and let's uh, see what's in the box and see what they're done for. First things first, I'm quite look at the box. Nice little um, bit of artwork of the um, tank commander going to get forward, so I can hit it, so I can punch it. So on the back, we've got some um, same piece of artwork again, and a bit more of a nice shot of what's going on. And uh, by looks of things, some unpainted models on the back of the box. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Never mind. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's just me being very, very picky. So let's get this uh, shrink wrap up and uh, see what's in the old box, shall we? Wow. Got some strong shrink wrap. Took some real pulling, that did. Right, and so. Ooh, yellow plastic. So we got some. Bag, a nice little bag of dice. Six of each. But if we need a few more dice, that's good. Oh, look at that. A really tightly packed thing of cards. So we've got two, two Shermans and one Panther. So that's another little deck of cards. And what else have we got in here? That's nice. Oh, tiny packed box, so. Ooh, trees. So, got a full colour rule book, nice glossy pages and full colour artwork there to show you what's going on. Oh, and a bit of a historical picture there as well. So, let's get that out of the way. And while I fight, I'm going to go off and fight for a second with the um, shrink wrap stuff. But, now nah, let's, let's show you the um, show you the tank, shall we? As ever I'm organized here. So let's zoom into the point. Let's have a look at the Shermans. Well let's say Shermans, we're gonna have a look at a Sherman because they look they're identical. But this one is mine. Anyway, so it looks like we've got a um, choice of turrets, which I'm sure the, the the instructions will go through. We've got some nice simple tracks there. Turrets, nice bit of detail there, nice and crisp little hull, looks like it'd be a right doll to put together so let's have a quick look on the other side, I'm sure there's not much here to see, some extra links there of tracks and hatches and whatnot. So that's the Shermans. And there we go, we've got a panther. Or it looks like it's going to be, be a yak panther. Is it a yak panther? Anyway, people are a bit more historical now. Well, um, you, as I'm saying things that you can't see, you've got a, a hole for a... Um, must be a yak panther, it's the same hull, isn't it? So we've got the two hull um, chassis there, so it looks like we've got a choice of, um, of modes. I mean, if, it may even be possible to um, dry fit them so you can change between the panther and the yak panther, but only time will tell. Um, we'll find out later in the video, I'm sure. Got nice track sections. So, uh, is that Shirtson? I'm sure it also makes sense once it comes to put it together, but nice, it looks nice and detailed. And look at that size of that gun. That's huge for a 15mm tank. It's like it's like the size of the hull. Anyway, guys, it would be a brief moment while um, um, while I unlock unlock the uh, next stage of the card components. Say unlock, fight with shrink wrap. Right, guys, I've, I've, the battle has been fought. There were casualties on both sides, but in the end, I was victorious and got rid of the shrink wrap. Took some doing. Some power, some strong stuff from the Scale Force 9, very tightly done. Um, can't really complain. So what we've got here, we've got some nice uh, thick cardstock. 
and we've got some terrain. We've got um, some really nice rigid card for uh, for a building or a ruin building, depends on your, your choice. Nice and easy to pop out of the uh, the card. These nicely cut, so you've got some tokens there. I'm sure once I've uh, read through the actual instructions, and uh, they, they'll all make sense. So we got some houses and some um, some uh, probably damaged markers or blast markers or oh, we've got destroyed markers. Your tanks will stay on the board. Some other markers, whatever these, some objectives. So what else have we got? We've got three sheets of card. We've got a wood. Ironically made out of wood. <coughs> Sorry, that's just me. Bit news. We've got some ominous arrows. Really easy to pop out. Nice and thick and sturdy. So we've got some ID tokens, some American ID tokens, and some British ID tokens. Soviet ID tokens and German ID tokens. I'm sure that might, for what they'll be used for, might come more apparent. But we've got um, yet another wood. So we've got a nice sturdy wood there for your, for your board. So you've got terrain, we've got some models. Uh, I'm going to go away and build these and I'll get, we'll be back in a bit. Oh, hang on. I almost forgot something. There's more cards. There's, there's um, not only the, the thick card stock, there's the actual card cards. So what have we got? Let's zoom in so you can see the uh, the cards I'm going to deal out. So we've got Panther, Jag Panther, the Stug, Panther 4. So already we've got cards here um, for things that are not in the box so if you've got already got some Panzer fours like I do or, or some Stugs like I do you've already got a, a, a little, quite a sizable force so what we what else have we got? We've got Sherman 75 Sherman 75 Sherman 76 Sherman 76 a Pershing a Super Pershing a T-34 a T-34-85 uh, SU-85, SU-100, uh, yeah, I'm really quite impressed with this guys, there's like loads of stuff here, we've got a Comet, a Cromwell, a Sherman Firefly and a Sherman 5, so loads of, um, upper, uh, you know, it's, I, areas there for, for things you want to use, I mean loads of cards there for, for but it's the stuff you could already have, like I've got. Um, I mean, Plastic Soldier Company do do some excellent 15 mil tanks, so I think I may be buying some more of those uh, to go some some Allied tanks to go against my um, German ones. So we've got some some actual the tank cards there. So we've also got a nice big stack of what um, it's probably an upgrade cards. So we've got aggressive commander, cunning commander. Oh. We've got more than couldn't command them to actually hold it, hide in some aggressive loaders. Oh, and then just put these out of shot. So they're a bit well, they're not, not flimsy, but it's um, they're nice and shiny. We've got a clever loader, just loads of these really nicely put laid out. Oh, Interesting um, thing on the back. So we got the point. I think that's the points cost on the back of the cards. I remember seeing this. You have, have your, your your upgrades face down, so your opponent doesn't know what you've got. Well, of course, that that way you don't even know what you said. You got yourself. So uh, what else have we got? Precise loader. Sharpshooter gunner. Ooh, we've got Baby Richards. Bobby Wall. Jailbird Boggs. So we've got loads of cards in the like different named tank commanders or gunners or whatever the were. So we've got um medical kit. <laughs> Bigger hammer. So we've got a fire extinguisher. Just like loads of different upgrades and things to go on your tanks. So loads of different um options and stuff. And then we've got what looks to be a damage deck. Right guys, back again, just after I was so uh, interrupted by the wife, but never mind. Um, so, I'm going to go off and have a, uh, have a build of these, these, the models, and uh, we'll be back in a second to show you the, the completed 
models, whether or not that, that, that um, pan fur can, can be um, dry fit as both. Um, okay, back in a bit, guys, when they're built. Right, guys, I've managed to get them uh, built, and um, sometimes they'll just dawn about re reading through the book a slight a bit. It's um, the old green versus tan for the army men thing. But obviously they're, they're saying it's a nice Heine diesel kit. So, um, the closing sorts and natural kits. Um, nice touch that you get enough parts to make um, both the uh, 75 and 76mm guns for the um, uh, Germans. And uh, there's enough parts that you don't have to worry about messing around doing this and to swap them out if you want to have a pair of 76s or a pair of 75 or one of each. You don't, have to mess, you don't have to mess around, you can just swap turrets and you, you're away. Um, only little minor thing was the instructions, well, they weren't exactly clear in some points. Uh, for zoom in here, this um, back shelf on the back of the tank is what I'm on about. You couldn't, because the, the instructions only, um, well, I'll tell you what, rather than me trying to explain the problem, let me show you. It's not a brilliantly great problem. It's just um, because I only show you from this end, and it's not a very clear picture for what this piece is, and there's no, and um, you can't, there's no indication of what way up it's supposed to go. Um, I'm not entirely sure I've done that correctly. Obviously, I've, um, it could well be correct. It could be not be an issue. Um, obviously, the instructions don't need to be perfect. Uh, you know, be um, they're not really that. In depth, and also the things just like um, this thing here, this part is not required in this turret. It's wrong. So there's a, a wrong instruction there. So it makes me think: if that's wrong, what else is wrong? Um, not the end of the world. I was able to figure it out. Um, I think. Well, I think so. According to that shelf, um, one other thing was some of the the, the gates seemed a bit unnecessary, like. Um, on the machine guns, for example, I managed to um, break one of the um, M MGs for the top of the Shermans by trying to cl clip it off the the frame. Now it probably needs the, the, all those might it might need all those goes that are not very good when it comes to what required for casting plastic, but that's just mine. If the less gates would have been better, so you could easier chop them the piece off. But then again, would that have caused it to be more more prone to breakage in packaging? I don't know. Anyway, that's just me. Um, nice kits overall, not nothing, nothing too fancy. Good gaming pieces. I mean, obviously the underside is a bit um, it's barren of detail, but then again, who wants to look on the underside of a tank? Um, one, the another thing that uh, I think they could have done better is is the instructions. For, oh, there we go. And there goes the turret. Just shows what I'm doing. The instructions for the panther. Now, including the, the kit, uh, the sprue was the enough parts to make a yak panther. Now, you see what my, my dilemma is here. You, the, I was able to figure out a way to do this. I mean, obviously, you don't. You could have done it where it was permanent, but I feel it would have been it would have been nice of them to tell you how to how to put this the yak panther together, as well as the panther. I mean, the parts are there. Um, I mean, obviously, it, it required there was two sets of shirts, and so it required a bit of cutting so in order to make it removable. But I think it could have been could have done with some more instructions to um, how to build the egg pan for part. I mean, it wasn't. I know it's not complicated, but still, it required some. You know, so which parts are required, and there's probably bits that might, might have missed off there that would normally go on the kit. Overall. I'm pleased with the amount of detail on them. Uh, the only the Panther kit is a bit missing of detail. Things you, things like this, like the inside of the wheels. There's just nothing. There's no detail whatsoever there. Just a hollow. I mean, fair enough. You can't see most of it, but like see that that just that bit you, you'd be able to see on the tabletop. Could it, it could have been better. What for for the price? Can't argue for the price. It's a, a fully enclosed game for under under twenty pound. So 
and they, they did include all the all the extra cards for for um, tanks that are not included in the set. So that's always got to add a plus for them. So you've got rules for all these tanks. Should you own them yourself or want to buy like a, a Panzer Four, a Panzer Four, some British Shermans or some Cromwell tanks or some Russians, Russian um, T-34s, you got options there. Not only that, there's an, a nice healthy stack, of, uh, no I bagged them up in uh, X-Wing bags, um, of upgrade cards for all, fa all factions included within, so you got um, for all four factions of the deck. So you've got the Brits, the Americans, the Russians and um, the, the Germans, so you've got upgrade cards for all, all of them. The card stock is nice and thick, as I said before, and it's just the, it's the very fact you've got the terrain as well. So, only thing missing would have been the, a little green map, but then again, uh, most of us have tables like that. So, that has been tanks, guys. That's, um, I'm gonna go away now and um, pay this, and I'll, I'll be drop. I might pop up a um, a follow up video showing the the paint and finished results. Okay, guys, that's been tanks unboxed and. Um, and and, and um, assembled so drop a comment below of what you think of this and uh, the points I've, 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 um, I've stated and what you think of it what you think of the game and what it looks like um any of anything else you want to drop below and if you haven't if you like this video or more like it hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and if you like the video hit the like button that's uh, really helps me helps me out guys okay thanks for watching guys and um happy wargaming bye bye